Fall ist. What is up guys? Oh my god, it has been so long since I've said that literally. I am back and better than ever and in these crazy crazy times I am here to tell you 50 things to do while we're stuck at home. Yeah, without further ado, if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and let's get on with the video. First thing is TikTok. Okay, for all you people that are like Oh, nah, TikTok, nah, that's a kid, it's cringy, it's everything bad that you could possibly say about TikTok. Yes, TikTok has its bad sides, but it's also a really, really fun app. Like, you don't even have to make videos. You can spend hours just scrolling through TikTok. Binge watch or re-watch a TV show, like, literally one of the most basic things that we do these days gaming so i'm not talking about your normal gaming on like your playstation or your xbox there's so many apps on your phone that you can just download who remembers temple run subway surfers whip those out even like your ds like i found my old ds and guess who's playing cooking mama all the time this girl is if you've been waiting to have an instagram photo shoot there is no better time than the present Whip out your favourite clothes from your cupboard. Set up your phone on self-timers. Right, you guys are going to hate me for this one, but do your schoolwork. Come on. you, you got to keep up with the schoolwork. Even us year 13s <laughs> who have no exams, there is still work that you could be doing. Leading off that one, pre-read for your next year. Like, say if you're a year 13. Hi, hello year 13s. Like, look up the reading list for your university for first year start working your way through that learn a language literally pick any language and just learn it there's youtube videos there's apps there's so many ways that you can learn a language <sighs> hola yeah that's all i got learn a new skill literally it could be playing an instrument it could be learning how to do the splits it could be learning how to dance it could be absolutely anything talk to your friends Well, my friends don't like me. And also, leading off of that, reach out to people you haven't spoken to in a very long time, you know? Hit up your primary school mates from like year two, be like, hey, how's it going? Self-isolation together, let's go. If you've been putting this off, now is the time to clean your room. Do a massive, deep clean of your room. Perfect. After that, you could redecorate or reorganize, you know, shift things around, maybe put your bed on the other side or something. Do a movie marathon. Oh, these are so fun. You know, set yourself up on your sofa, have some blankets, some cushions, some food, your snacks, whatever. Organize your clothes. If you want, sell them on like Depop or something and you can make money out of selling your old clothes. So sort out your clothes. Do some art. Okay, attempt to do some sort of like drawing or painting, just something creative to like stimulate your brain and your mind. So I kind of painted Princess Jasmine and Princess Tiana and then Loki. Super proud of myself, but yeah. Bake something or if baking's not your thing, you can cook something. Do some exercise. Well, that was a great workout. <laughs> But like do an actual workout, don't just do what I did. Watch some YouTube. YouTube has so much content and there is literally something for everyone. Play some card game. You can just play Snap. That's like the easiest game there is. Like just play some sort of card game. And even if you don't have anyone to play with, you can play them online. There's like, you know, the solo ones like Solitaire, I think, that you can play online. Just start a YouTube channel. It, you never know, it could be like something you end up love doing. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. That was so cringy, oh my god. If YouTube's not your thing, you could start a blog. Then you don't, if you're like camera shy, you know, maybe a blog might be better if you were like an Instagram page on like a topic that you like. You know? Organize your phone. Oh my god. Imagine my phone. I've got so many apps that I don't even use and they're just there for no reason so like organize them delete the ones you don't need or even go through your photos and videos oh my god 
I used to love doing this one as a kid, build a fort. Literally grab out your pillows, your cushions, your blankets, your chairs, whatever you're using to build a fort and just build a fort. Paint your nails. Coloring. And if you don't have a coloring book, you can print out images online. Listen to a podcast. Just like YouTube, there are so many different podcasts. There's so much content and there is something for everyone. Sort out your damn emails. Create yourself some new outfit inspiration. Oh my God. Go through your cupboard and like, you know, try new styles and outfits. I call this outfit pajamas. Go on Pinterest or Tumblr. Have yourself a little pampering day. Whip out that face mask, whip out that bath bomb, whip out, I don't know what else. And you know, just have a nice chill pampering day. Play a board game. Get yourself some fresh air and just go for a walk. But remember, social distancing people, keep yourself, is it two meters apart? But yeah, social distancing. But yeah, you can still go for a walk. You know, we're allowed to go out for an hour hours exercise right this one is a bit risky especially for like me but online shop write a story or like a poem or just write anything that comes to your head once upon a time the end find yourself some new music watch actual tv and i don't mean watch netflix or like amazon prime i mean actual tv like bbc one <laughs> Like, I still watch Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway. Great show. Do a puzzle. Sleep. Literally just sleep. Like, when's the last time you actually got a decent amount of sleep? Create a collage of, like, all your pictures and your memories. Like, you can see there on my cork board, it's literally filled with, like, images and, like, tickets and stuff like that. Clean your entire house. Yeah, no, don't just clean your room. Go clean that kitchen. Go clean that living room. Like, just do some cleaning. Cut or dye your hair. But make sure you have like parents permission before you come out with like rainbow hair and your parents are like, what have you done? Or if you don't wanna like cut or dye it, just like experiment with doing different hairstyles. Like, you know, learn to do space buns or like French braids or something like that. Stare out the window and think about life. I am staring out of my window. The weather's actually so nice. Trust the weather to be so nice when we're stuck in the house. But yeah, staring out the window. DIY something, literally just find stuff around your house and make something. Annoy people in your household because who doesn't love to annoy people? What are you doing? Do Buzzfeed quizzes. Oh my God, I used to spend ages doing these. So according to my food choices, I'm 20, which isn't too far off. It's only two years older, but like, yeah. <laughs> Last three things you can do are like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I feel great to be back on YouTube. And yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.